Watch this betong jump into its new home. In fact, its old home. The small nocturnal marsupial used to be found extensively across southern and central Australia before habitat loss and predators like foxes drove it to local extinction more than 60 years ago. When we talk about local extinctions, we're talking just about any area within the country where that species used to persist, but where there's no longer an extant population. Today, eastern betongs are found in the wild only in eastern Tasmania, while the brush-tailed betongs or woilies exist very sparsely in Western Australia. And that's a problem because betongs are little diggers. Just one can create more than 200 digs per night, turning over around three tonnes of soil in a year. And what that digging does is, you know, it erates the soil, it turns it over, it buries leaf litter. It also creates microclimates and little areas in which moisture can accumulate, which can allow plants to regenerate. So conservationists have flown in 22 male and 22 female brush-tailed betongs from other parts of the country. Their reintroduction to the Northern Territory is happening in a fenced off sanctuary, keeping predators at bay. So at the moment we're just going through um, a health check and just confirming we've got all the correct animals here. They'll be tagged and tracked to monitor their breeding and survival rates. Similar reintroduction efforts are also underway in mainland South Australia, giving these little ecosystem engineers the best chance of success. The Australian Academy of Science, because questions need answers.